In this video, we'll be going over maximum depth of binary tree. So given the roots of a binary tree, the term is maximum depth. A binary tree's maximum depth is the number of nodes along the longest path from the root node down to the farthest leaf node. So in our first example, the longest path of nodes is 3, 20, 18, and 3, 20, and 7, which we have three nodes. So let's first go over the dot process. So we will implement a recursive depth first search approach. For each of the node x, we will first want to find the maximum depth of the left subtree. Then find the maximum depth of the right subtree. Since we want to find the maximum depth at x, we will want to pick the larger value between left and right. Then in order to account for the node x, we will increment 1 to the larger value. Let's go over a pseudocode. So implement the recursive depth for search approach. And then what parameters do we need? It's going to be root, the current root of the subtree. And what is the base case? If root is equal to null, we can say the depth is equal to 0. Then in each of the recursive call, we will first recursively find the maximum depth of the left subtree. Then recursively find the maximum depth of the right subtree. We want to pick the larger value between the two left and right and increment it by 1 to account for the current root node. So return max left right incremented by 1. Now let's go over the time and space complexity. So the time complexity is equal to O of n, where n is the total number of nodes in the tree. And then O of n is visit each node once. And our space complexity is O of h, where h is the height of the tree. Which would be the recursive call stack memory. Now let's go over the code. So if root is equal to null, then we can return 0. And then return the maximum value, the larger value between the maximum depth of the left subtree and the right subtree incremented by 1. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.